Friends, here is an Indian painting from the beginning of the 20th century where Indra is giving Devasena's hand in marriage to Skanda who is also known as Kartik or Muruga. Now the Hindus would rightly say that it is a scene from their holy scriptures. And again, here we have the nuptials of Cupid and Psyche by the Italian painter Pelagio Palaghi, painted about 100 years earlier in the year 1808. Here Zeus is giving the hand of Psyche to Cupid, who was Tammuz. The characters and the incidents depicted in these two paintings are one and the same. So, where did this incident take place? That is what we are going to figure out now. Well, it happened about 330 years after the great Jalpale of Noah, who is Manu. After the total destruction of the whole world, civilizations were re-emerging all over again. King Nimrod of Mesopotamia, known as Lord Shiva in Hinduism, was very popular and he was turning the people against the god of Noah, the creator of Adam, Eve and all of us. Meanwhile, Kali the water nymph, sent by Lucifer the devil from his abyss, enticed him, became his queen and later killed him. Taking over his throne as Queen Semiramis, she started ruling ancient Assyria. Soon after that, she also gave birth to a son named Tammuz. As one can assume, having a baby without a father did raise some eyebrows among her nobles and citizens. Lucky for her, God's own prophecy, well known among the people, saying that the seed of a woman would crush the devil's head for deceiving Eve came in handy to tackle the situation. She said that Nimrod had ascended to heaven as the sun god and he impregnated her through his race and the child that is born of her was the seed of the woman, the savior of mankind that God had promised in the Garden of Eden. Meanwhile, being a creature from the abyss, in spite of her beauty and power, she could not find a human lover who would truly love her, because her boss Lucifer never taught love in his kingdom. Then she ended up having an incestuous relationship with her own son Tammuz. The Near Eastern literatures praise her romance with Tammuz as something nothing short of divine. Well, here is where our drawings come into scene. What happened here was that, apart from Semiramis being with Tammuz, Tammuz also fell in love with a beautiful girl named Psyche. Semiramis was very upset about it and she gave Psyche a very hard time. So Tammuz approached Zeus, who is the Misraim of the Bible, and with the blessings of Zeus, married Psyche, which is what these drawings portray. Now, where did this event take place? Maybe it is in Egypt where Zeus was based, or at Nineveh in ancient Assyria, or somewhere in between. One cannot be too sure. Thanks for watching.